Hi everyone, it's been a long time ago that people learned how to build big and complex mechanisms. Most of them can be put together and dismounted on the ground. But then there are some that you cannot mount like that anywhere you want. Because it requires special equipment and foundry, so they need to be transported. In these cases, transportations become quite challenging special operations involving tow trucks and professional teams. So, here are the seven biggest carriages ever transported by men. Let's get it on. Muon G2 Magnet In the summer of 2013, the Muon G2 team successfully transported a 50-foot wide magnet. It took 35 days to cover 3,200 miles by land and sea. The huge magnet is the crucial part of the Muon G2 experiment, exploring qualities of the Muon, a subatomic particle with a lifetime of 2.2 microseconds. To provide the maximum security, the magnet was transported using a specially equipped truck and 45-ton metal apparatus. The shipping cost $25 million, and it was complicated and a delicate operation, in which participated several groups of scientists from all over the world. Shuttle Endeavour This American shuttle made its last trip to Los Angeles to become a museum piece after 20 years of flying. Endeavour has covered 115 million miles in space and then landed in the LA International Airport in the back part of a Boeing 747, especially adapted for the case. Then, with an unusually small speed, it traveled on the well-planned route through the streets 400 trees had to be cut, several power lines had to be turned off so that the 78-ton vehicle could pass. The trip took two days and 12 miles, and the shuttle arrived to the California Science Center. Mirrors for the world's biggest telescope A team of astronomers, engineers, police officers, and heavy transport specialists brought two mirrors for a huge telescope from the University of Arizona in Tucson to the top of Monte Cristo Range, Esmeralda County, at the height of two miles. It took them five months only to prepare for the operation. To carry two 16-ton mirrors and a 33-ton case, they were loaded on the tug and then traveled 120 miles at a speed of 9 miles per hour. The trip went on for two days, and for that the roads were blocked, while the whole world was waiting for the news about construction of the biggest telescope on Earth. The tug was put on 48 wheels, each one with its one autonomous hydraulic system to keep upright position on the 30-mile winding mountain road. Harriet Gas Turbine Harriet is the biggest gas turbine. It weighs as much as a fully loaded Boeing 747. In combination with a steam turbine, it can produce enough energy to power 600,000 houses in France. The turbine had a long 205-mile way from the factory in Belfort to its new home on the power plant. The transportation was divided in different stages, and it was just like the Tour de France when people got into a line all along the road to see the huge 800-ton turbine of the size of a football field. Field. The entire convoy was 358 feet long and 22 feet wide. The center stretcher, which carries the 400-ton turbine, rolls on two tow platforms, each with 14 rows of triple-tire axles. The team checked every curve in the road and built digital models of bridges and bypasses to make sure the convoy could ride over them. Nuclear Reactor a Saudi company had to transport a 1,048-ton reactor 683 miles on steep desert hills and narrow winding roads. It was carried on two hydraulic trailers and ten prime movers. Each hill was a mission, going up with six trucks in front of the load and four behind, switching to six behind and four in front of the crest. Trucks and trailers were connected to each other mechanically, which increased traction and braking capacity, but limited maneuverability. It's hoped that in the near future, long-distance transporting over 2,000 tons of cargo will be possible with a single truck ahead and another one in the end. Mamoet Company began developing new heavy transport called Trailer Helper. Using these tugs with hydraulic drive reduces to one the amount of trucks needed for traction and direction. With the help of this trailer, the speed will increase at least five times. Besides, it requires only one driver to manage the whole system, which practically excludes mistakes in coordination. Bagger 288 
It's a bucket wheel excavator and mining machine designed to work in open pit coal mines. It's the biggest machine in the world, with a height of 330 feet and the length of almost two football fields. It's so huge that it requires five drivers to handle it. In 2001, the excavator completed the mining in a mine and moved up to another one, 14 miles away. Turned out it was cheaper to move it all built up than dismount it, transport it and then build it up again. But it caused some trouble. The travel took over 33 weeks. The vehicle had to cross a river, a highway, a railway and a few roads at a speed of 33 feet per minute. The trip cost almost 15 million Deutschmarks and required efforts of a group of 70 workers. The transporting was realized thanks to 12 systems on track chains with electric drive. 7 million cubic feet of mud and gravel had to be leveled out so the trip would be smooth. Besides, in some parts of the track they had to plant grass so the vehicle would go even more smoothly. Sea Platform Troll A Troll A platform is the highest transportable construction ever built. It's almost 300 feet high, but it's mostly underwater. The platform holds the record for the heaviest object ever transported on water from construction site to installation position. The 50 million ton construction traveled from the shore to the destination, 50 miles away from the city of Bergen in Norway. In order to perform that, the water line was fixed in the center of gravity of the platform with air tanks so that one of its half was underwater and the other on the surface. Ten powerful toes moved the structure to the destination at a speed of one knot, which is 1.15 miles per hour, and it took five days. Once it arrived, the platform was buried 120 feet deep in the bottom of the sea. Since trolls started working, it's been producing 10% of all the gas produced in Europe. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.